Fetch, go there, get a ball. Fetch, go on. Nice entrance, Jack. Don't you think it's a little bit over dramatic? What a piece of junk. Look, she may not look like much now, but she's got it where it counts, pal. I made a lot of special modifications myself. But, we're a bit rushed for time. Let's just get your shit in the boat and let's go. Enough, enough of the Star Wars references, okay? I feel like I'm trapped in a Kevin Smith movie. Don't be stupid. What fool would put you in a film? And anyway, you started it. I somehow doubt you're even capable of creating special modifications. A mechanic, you are not. Mm, yes. Jeez, Danny. Have you got a body in here? Why'd you pack so... Uh, you don't need all this stuff. You're only going to university. You're not going to Middle Earth, you know. Be prepared. That's my motto. You could die today. Any day you could die. My motto is live fast, die young, and leave a good-looking corpse. <laughs> you already look like a dead corpse already. Great going away present, Jack Abtor. But you could have got it in blue. No, 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 I didn't do this. I didn't put these here. I don't know where the... Where's the... Did you do this? No. Oh, I bet it was you, wasn't it? Anything for a laugh. It wasn't me. Well, how'd they get there, then? Well, I don't know. Ask the man who sold you the car. No, 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 no. I can vouch that this was most definitely empty when I bought the car. There was no balloons, no balloons. They're just balloons. It don't matter. Can we get going then? Maybe the balloons were from the used car salesman. It's a possibility, but highly unlikely. Why is that, Sherlock? The boat was most definitely empty when I bought this car.
How have you gotten us lost? It's been about 30 minutes. How inconceivable is this? I have no memory of this place. What? Oh, forget it. My impressions are so wasted on you. Anyway, just relax, Danny boy. I'll get you there. Remember, don't think of this as a road trip. Think of it more as an adventure. Firstly, I've never once thought of our journey as a road trip. You're just giving me a lift. And secondly, I do not want to go on an adventure. That's just what Bilbo said! Are you comparing me to a hobbit now? Well, now that you mention it, your feet are on the hairy side. And to be honest, Really not that tall, are you? Look at these, look. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, get a life, asswipe! So where are we then? No idea, thanks to you. You must be the only person who doesn't own a sat -nav. And you, sir, are the only person I know that don't drive. Mm. I still find it hard to believe that you want to be a doctor, Danny boy. It's very upsetting that I could be transporting the next Victor Frankenstein. Are you sure this is your calling in life? How about training to be a vet instead? Or maybe even a dental receptionist? I feel these, are, these options would be safer for the real world. Always the comedian. Seriously though, why a doctor? I'm intrigued. Well, I guess it all started when I saw Paul Clooney in ER. Well, he seems to be making films about fishing. Fishing? Yeah, I'm sure there were three of them in total. Um, actually, I think there were four of them because in one of the scenes, um, the boat was capsized by a huge wave. All very sad, based on a true story, you know. That's George Clooney, you idiot. Or for some reason unknown to mankind, you seem to have merged his Oceans film with a perfect storm. Oh, so the Ocean films weren't about fishing. Are you sure about that? Positive. They're about robbing casinos in Las Vegas. No boats are involved. Oh, my mistake. That was an experience. One I don't wish to repeat, thank you very much. You have to admit, it was a little funny. How was that funny? Well, you did scream like Dakota Fanning in War of the Worlds. What? So did you! No, you're mistaken, sir. Mine was more of a manly growl. A perfect combination of a dying Mel Gibson in Braveheart. With tones of Russell Crowe in Gladiator. It was a very macho scream. Yours, I'm afraid, was rather girly.
Grotti, where is it? Where you on about? It's a bloody quick clown that was in the back. I think you're losing your marbles, mate. Where did it go? Where did the clown go? What clown? Where you on about? You didn't see that scary looking clown in the back seat. When did we pick up a clown? Was it, well, was it while I was asleep? Forget it! Maybe I'm dreaming now. Maybe I'm asleep. Maybe I'm awake. Am I dead? Am I not? Jack! Are you serious? You did not see it. You didn't see it. I didn't see. It was clown. right there. You are seeing things. There's not a clown here. I think I'm going to want to sit in the back. Here we go again. I'm gonna get you to university. Even if it kills me doing it. I wish I'd gone to a community college now. Let's put this up. Wouldn't want anything clouding in. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Think it's all in my head. Well, let's look at the evidence so far. One, balloons in the back of my car. Two, comedy horn in the front of my car. And three, and most convincingly, to me anyway, a scary looking clown sitting casually in the back of my car. Now, what's all this mean, Danny? Somehow, we've traveled to the Twilight Zone down the M1. Processing all of this. You don't say. Shit, come on! Where? He was here. He was just. He was. He's gone now. What? Oh shit! He's here. Shit! Shit! Just get off me! Shit! You're right. I'm there.
Do you think he's gone for good this time? I don't know, mate. Maybe he's gone to join the circus. Do you think? No! I don't. I don't know where he is, but... Oh. Fuck the doors, the windows are open. I don't understand how the hell he could get in now. Maybe he's a ghost. I don't know. Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> Get off me! <sighs> what? The sniper's everywhere! No, you're just having one of your stupid sniper dreams again. Weirdo. I'm not weird. We all have a dream every now and again. <sighs> yes, but you have dreams about Russian snipers trying to kill you. That's not normal. So that makes you, in my book, a weirdo. So, do you think we're safe? The car's locked. Yeah, but that's not stopped him before. 